Hi everybody, how's it going? This is Matt Tomato right here. Cheers for tuning in and welcome back to Chemistern. This is episode 33 of the chemical city that we're building up here uh, with lots of chemical names. Um, I've noticed there's actually quite a bit of a population decline happening here. Um, I wonder, what, are people leaving or are they, is this people dying? Um, uh, 97 people dead, but no, we're losing 200 odd. Uh, we've also got elder care. Yeah, right. Okay. Um, so I tell you what, we could um, we could build some of these elder care centres. They have a huge radius, uh, which is kind of good. So we can care for some of the elderly people. Um, so in particular, maybe let's build one in Chlorineville. Um, so let's build one there. So obviously that will help uh, care for some of the elderly over that way. And we've also got the child care ones as well, the child health centre. Increases birth rates. Um, so maybe we could build one of these in Lithium Park. Um, let's get one of those over there and see how we go uh, with that. So yeah, um, Child Health Centre. So then if we have a look here. Uh, yeah, we've got Child Care. Average Health 86%. Okay, 72%. 198 per week, yeah, okay, so you can kind of see the rate at which uh, people are, you know, the birth rate and stuff like that, you can uh, you can look into that. Right, um, What the, the other thing I was going to do is maybe run a bus service um, between Irontown and Sulphur Fields, I was considering the idea of doing that, so what if we um, we run a bus here, go around this way, Chop in here, and then go down here basically, and come down this road, and join in at the top here. So we can follow this route going down here. Uh, keep going down this way. Yeah, and just come out this way like this. Uh, but then keep on going straight down here. And then just do that. So this will be uh, what do we got? Um, it will be the number seventeen. So seventeen, Iron Town via via Sulphur Fields. There we go. That'll be okay. Because uh, obviously that means it's um, let's go with ten. Uh, because what that means is that is from Sulphur Fields, which is a residential area, they've now got a bus service that allows them to go to the offices. So it's a commute to work, basically, um, is what that is. And then we'll also have a um, another bus service that maybe runs around... Um, come on, allow me to create a new line here. Oh, I had it there. Damn it. Um, there we go, excellent. That kind of runs, so we can go into here, then we can go around this way. Um, up here. It's kind of a little bit more local. And runs basically all the way around this area. Um, I was just trying to think uh, where to actually run this. Um, yeah, so if we do that, then have a bus service on that side and that side. So it comes in and around here, then comes down this way. Um, yeah, because there's no entry in there. Okay. I was thinking about cutting it down here, but I probably won't be able to do that. So then it comes around here, uh, we'll have a bus stop there, comes down this way, comes in to this small estate over here, bus stop there, comes around, um, and then basically goes through the middle of this uh, office area over here. Um, I suppose maybe via the station could be good, but um, I guess we'll just go into here and then join in there is probably the better one. 
Um, so bus line 18, so it's just going to be Iron Town, basically. Um, and we'll go with 12, uh, maybe not 12, maybe, um, maybe 10. We'll be okay. Because at the moment, it's just a, a service that runs around uh, with hardly anybody here. But this area at the back here is going to become residential, so more people are going to want to use that because there's people who are going to use that to, to go into the city, basically. So um, let's go ahead and put some more commercial in over there. And we need to complete this uh, residential zone over here first before we move on to uh, this area over the back here. Um, yeah, because this is all going to be residential. This is going to be a new area out the back here. Cool. Okay. So yeah, more people moving in over there. That's good. How are we doing for power? We're doing pretty okay. We're going to need some more water soon though. So um, let's, um, let's put a water tower in there. And I don't know. Um, where else could we put one of these? Maybe in the middle there. That could be good. Um, assuming the power can jump. There we are. Uh, so now we've got a little bit more water availability. We're also going to need another sewage outlet as well. Now I did leave a spot of space over here just in case we needed another one. And we do. So let's go ahead and chuck that in. There we are. Brilliant. Right, so initially all this power over here. Um, actually, let's put up um, another couple of turbines over there. Because then the power can join up to the trams. And then this can join up to... Um, this can join up then to the residential so the power can jump around over there. So that's quite handy. But also it looks kind of cool to have the wind turbines going up the hill slowly along here. That's kind of interesting. Um, so yeah, that could be, uh, that's quite a good uh, good little thing. Yeah, this uh, this cargo terminal is building up here, but that's okay. I don't mind it building up there. Um, I'd prefer it if trains were used though. I haven't seen a train go out there yet. Um, maybe because the orientation is wrong because the trains come in from here, don't they? But they can come in from all the way over here. They can come in from that way. So I don't know. Not too sure. Right, anyway, um, this train station here we need to rename. Um, so this is Iron Town. There we go. Need to rename that one. A uh, bit more commercial demand. They're still complaining about a lack of goods, but it's not as bad because uh, we do have the, uh, the cargo terminal over there now. So that's probably helped a fair bit. Let's build a little bit more commercial in there. Maybe there as well. Don't want to urbanize that too heavily. I was debating to see whether we wanted this as three lanes, but I don't think so. Um, I think we're okay at the moment. A lot of parking along here. A lot of parking going along along there. Um, kind of interesting, but uh, we'll see. Okay, it looks quite good actually having this on the other side here. Now, one thing we haven't yet done is build some of the extra tall buildings that we have. Because um, I haven't built all of them yet. Because I built most of them. I built some of them on one side. Uh, but there's still some other tall buildings that I've got that we can build on this side. Um, so we got uh, this one here, the Executive Hotel. Uh, that feels like that belongs over sort of towards the waterfront a little bit. So uh, let's plop that one in over there. Um, then we've got a couple of other ones here. Um, servicing Services Offices. Um, will that fit in anywhere over here? It's quite a big, bulky building. Um, nope. Uh, it's quite a big bulky building that, so maybe we'll hold off on that one. Uh, this one's quite tall, the high interest tower. Um, let's put that, uh, actually let's put that in the office zone. I can go in over there. Uh, the aerial hotel, that's not particularly tall, but nevertheless I'll slot it in on the corner over there somewhere. Uh, what else we got? Right, we've got a few of these ones here. So I've got the Bank of Skylines. Um, I feel like that belongs in like a commercial district, so let's put that on the end there. We've got this tall one here, the Emerald Hotel. Um, that feels like a waterfront building to me. Um, 
Slope too steep, really. That's annoying. Um, yeah, slope too steep. Okay. So maybe it should go somewhere over here. I don't know. Um, or in here, I suppose. Um, yeah, let's build it there. That'll be all right. Uh, we've also got the Sky Hotel, just a simple hotel. Um, let's put this. Uh, it doesn't quite fit into certain areas. No, it says slope too steep. Although we could slot it in over here, actually. Um, that'll do. Let's slot that in there. And then we've got the Spinnaker Tower as well. Uh, I need to find a spot for that. Um, ideally facing outwards actually would be quite good. So how about we, yeah, this is, is a good spot. Let's, um, let's put that in there over that way. Um, what else we got? The Cathedral of Plentitude. Uh, this is a residential area over here, so we could consider putting it in over there. Um, sea and Skyscraper. Uh, I can go in over here at the end of the, uh, at the end of the line. The, um, 111W57 tower. Uh, it's quite small actually, so we might be able to slot that in somewhere on the end. Like that maybe. And then I've got this one here, which is the 63 square building. These are all assets from the workshop, by the way. Um, just, uh, just making it feel like more of a proper city, you know, like tall, tall buildings. This is the, um, the Gherkin, so to speak. This is a building in London. Um, somewhere over here is actually where that's going to go. So we'll put that there. And then I've also got a TV tower. Um, and I think that's going to slot in over on the end over here quite nicely. Like that. There we go. We've also got uh, some football stadiums and stuff like that. Uh, so maybe we should get a, a football team going at some point. Right, right, so we've got a huge demand for residential now. Uh, which is good. So let's go ahead. It's going to be out here on the other side. So I'm going to zone in the entirety of this. Here is going to be residential. Um, and maybe this as well. Zone in the entirety of that. Um, I guess we need to just make sure that the uh, the power connects here. So temporarily, I guess we run a power line along here. I guess that's what we do. Um, and then we also need uh, probably a line that runs along here for now. Oh, really? Is that elevated? Oh, it is. Okay. Um, so page up. From here, drop it down there, and it needs to almost join in with the rest of this, like that, basically, just so that the power keeps on moving around between all this, all these sections. Uh, struggling for workers over here, it would seem. Um, what are we, what are we after here? Just not enough workers in general, actually. Just not enough people. Um, well, that's fair enough. Um, but we, we are zoning more people in over here. More people are moving in. Uh, maybe building more commercial is not such a good idea, but, so uh, the demand's there, so I'm going to build it. Um, let's get a, um, get a park in there. We should build all the rare, the relevant facilities over here as well. So let's get um, some healthcare, um, death care, you know, all that stuff. We should build all of this over here. Uh, let's get a uh, fire station on that road and probably a police station as well. We're also going to need some schools and bits around here. So let's go one two, three elementaries and a high school somewhere in the middle. That makes the area desirable suddenly. 
And yeah, we're just going to wait, obviously, for the power to just jump around here. Uh, and do all, do its stuff, basically. So there is a fair bit of queuing coming in here. Um, which is interesting, actually. Um... Uh, this particular bit has traffic lights, that's why. Um, so I tell you what, we're going to change that. Um, so we're going to ditch the um, we're going to ditch the lights there, and instead we're just going to go with um, priorities. So, and then that has priority. So trams are priority when they come down, basically. But yeah, we'll give way there. So yeah, they wait. The tram has to wait there. That's fine. But then it, it has priority when it comes back up. Right. And the same thing here. Yeah, there's traffic lights here. So um, let's let's ditch those. So this has priority. This has priority. And that one gives way, basically. This is just a simple uh, stop sign, I think. That's okay. So again, um, priority over there. Give way there. Uh, and then the same with this. So priority here. Give way here. Might be okay. Okay. We'll see how that rolls. Right. So that might just free flow that a little bit better obviously on the condition that they yeah it backs up a fair bit because there's a lot of traffic coming in here so they're all giving way um yeah that is a thing which is a problem um i guess one thing we could do is we could change i don't know whether we've already done it uh we could change the speeds over here um, so the new uh, Traffic Manager President Edition has the speeds in miles per hour now, uh, which is kind of handy. Um, although I did know that it was all in, um, it was all in sort of um, kilometers an hour anyway. So from here, we bring the speed down to 80. You can change individual lanes as well, um, I think. I'm not sure. I think you can. Um, so yeah, just bring that down a little bit. I think that's going to be a good idea there. Uh, just slow people down as they um, as they come along. Yeah, so you can imply to entire road. Um, show lane wise speed limits. So you can uh, you, yeah you can show individual lanes if you want to. Um, yeah, we'll see because this is backing up a bit now. Because this lot haven't been able to go for a while. Because there's so many cars coming in here. Hmm. Ooh, he pulled out on him. Do you see that? Um, yeah, so it is backing up the lanes a bit now. This is actually getting quite bad. Um, do we go with three lanes with an extra lane help? don't know. Um, so no, it's not this one. Um, there's all traffic. Uh, no, that's parking. There was one that allowed you to... Uh, this one here, that's it. Um, so here. Yeah, so... Do this. Disabled U-turns. Um, yeah, they're giving way, and so it is, it's backing up like absolutely crazy, um, which isn't good. It's also backing up heavily down here as well, which is not what I want. Um, so maybe traffic lights is the way to go then. 
it's allowed this to flow coming in here, but then it's stopped both of these sides. Right, where are most people going here? Okay, a lot of people are going that way. So I'll tell you what we could do. We could create a small cheater here. Um, coming off of here. that will bridge there uh, right um, we need to disable snapping there there we go and then get it back again so then it'll snap into straight across here. And then bring it down on that side. Right, I don't think that's straight, is it? But it doesn't matter. Right, so if we go into zone in, we will um, disable that one. And then we need to traffic manager this as well. Um, because um, obviously we don't want people crossing over there. So here, for instance, uh, nobody is to go that way. And so it could make that into a temporary third. Yeah, it could do. Yeah, so a few people are starting to use that now to get out of here, uh, which is quite helpful. Yeah, that's quite helpful, actually, for flowing that side. So that's okay. Um, it's just this one now. It's not that bad at the moment though, so we'll have to come back to that. So let me just zone in a bit more residential at the back here, and then we will end this episode right here. So that's it for now then, so cheers for watching guys, this has been myself, Matt DeTomato. Be sure to subscribe and follow the series, and join me next time for more City Skylines, and I'll play through here with Chemiston. See you later.